Hi, this is a tutorial about how to use Safari tabs. So uh, if you want, you can uh, you can start up Safari, which should be in your dock. Um, so first, it'll go to your home page, which you can set in pre -ref in uh, preferences. Uh, so you can say uh, home page and then change it right here. Um, but anyway, so once it gets to your home page. Um, you can um, obviously type in websites here, such as YouTube.com, and it'll go to them. You can also search Google in the Google tool toolbar right here. Let's say I wanted to search, I don't know, um, uh, YouTube, um, if I want any information about it. I don't know. Or maybe if I wanted to search Apple. So there we go. You can just search it up here, and you can also see your re recent searches by clicking this magnifying glass. Um, just like Internet Explorer 7, um, Apple Safari has tabs. Um, you can add a new tab by going to Window, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, File, and New Tab, or you can just do Command T. And to get rid of the tab, you can either click the X, as you can see right there, or you can type um, uh, Command W. So Command T, Command W will add and get rid of tabs. Uh, you can have many, many, many tabs, as you can see here. Uh, basically unlimited. Um, I'm just going to get rid of these by using Command W. Um, and on each tab, you can have a, uh, a different website. So um, that, that's that for that. Um, if you want to add one of these websites to your your favorites let's say I went to oh I don't know um, yahoo.com and I wanted to add it as a bookmark which you can see here are my bookmarks the, the uh, they're basically like favorites you can just click to and it'll go to the website um, you can click add bookmark or command D and write the name for it so I'll just write Yahoo and click add so now as you can see it shows up right here in my bookmarks you can also click the little book right here to see all of your bookmarks you can also see um, your address book um, and your history right here um, so again also um, if you open up another window let's say um, if you wanted to say uh, new window and uh, you had a website up but you wanted to combine them into all into one window you could just go to window and select merge all windows and it'll put it into another tab so you have two tabs on the same screen um, you can merge many windows together it's really really convenient and uh, it's good also um, Apple provides you with a news tab where you can view uh, news and popular sites like eBay Facebook um, Amazon sites like that um, and uh, another feature with Safari if you want, you can click this scissor icon right here, um, which will, you can uh, take a part of the desktop, and it'll put it in dashboard. So let's say I want to take this picture and click add. It would appear in my dashboard um, right here. And if, we'll, if I wanted to get rid of it, uh, I could just exit out like that. Um, also, you can just, instead of going to the menu to add a bookmark, you can also just click the plus button if you're on the website that you want to add as a bookmark. Um, you can also add it to news or popular instead of to your bookmarks, like right on here. Um, to refresh, you click this button or command R. And um, to view your history, you just click history. To clear history, you click the clear history button. Um, to view different toolbars, you can. The bookmarks bar is the the bar that shows all your bookmarks. As you can see, I just hit it. I'll show it again. Um, you can also hide um, the toolbar, which is where you type in your addresses. Um, and you can uh, show or hide the status bar, which shows the status basically of your connection and what website you're on. Um, and you can also make text bigger or smaller by holding down command plus or command minus it's also a menu option so as you can see it's getting smaller and now I can make it get bigger if your eyesight isn't as good 
or if you just want to have a little less strain on your eyes. Um, and I think that's about it for Safari. Um, let's see if there's anything in preferences that you might need to know. Um, you can also choose where you save your downloaded files to, um, and you can choose how long you want after you erase your history. So um, you can choose between a day, a week, or you can just say manual. You can you don't delete it until um, you know you want to. You can change the appearance of Safari here. Um, you can choose your font for um, like your uh, what you type in. You can also change your fixed width font. Um, bookmarks, you can choose what to include. Um, you can synchronize them using your .Mac account. Um, you can change security and where you accept cookies from. And then there's some uh, access and proxy settings right here. Um, but I think I've given you all the basics of Safari. So um, thank you for your time.